So, in best practices, we covered steps to reduce separation costs, reporting new hires, separation issues, and appeals. Now, let's cover the most common forms you use when dealing with this. First, we have the separation notice. The separation notice, or Form 77, must be submitted to the Louisiana Workforce Commission within 72 hours of the date of separation. A copy of the completed form must be given to the employee at the time of separation or mailed to his or her last known address within 72 hours. The separation notice is the employer's first opportunity to state its case in defending against a claim. Timeliness is of the utmost importance. The easiest way to meet this timeliness requirement is by filing online. To find the separation notice, go to www.laworks.net and click on Online Services. Here you'll be taken to a page where you'll find four employers and the second item under Employers, you'll find the separation notice. There, you can click it, fill it out, and submit it online to avoid mailing delays. Be certain to make a copy for your files, as well as a copy to provide the separating employee. A question we often get is, why so many forms? Here's some of the forms that you'll come across in dealing with us. First, is a notice of claim filed, or the Form 110. It's mailed to the last employer listed on the initial claim. The employer has 10 days to respond. There's also the notice to base period employers, or the Form 152. It's mailed to each base period employer if a claim is monetarily eligible. It shows the employer's liability and requests separation information. The employer has 10 days to respond to this. Other forms you may encounter are the Notice of Claim Determination or the Form 385 and also the Notice of Satisfaction of Disqualification or Form 485. Additional fact-finding request. You may also receive additional fact-finding request. Form 499 and Form 599 are separation information request. Often during the adjudication of a claim, additional information is needed in order to make a just decision. For the sake of thoroughness, please respond to all requests for information. We've completed the form section, which helps explain the different forms needed. The separation notice, or Form 77, can be completed online and should be submitted within 72 hours of separation. Be sure to respond to the other forms received, which could be the notice of claim filed, which is mailed to the last employer listed on the claim, or the notice to base period employers. Remember earlier, we reviewed the base period graphic that showed that the base period is the four quarters prior to the lag quarter and the quarter the claim is filed. Also, you may receive forms requesting more information on a quit or discharge. This may give you an opportunity to provide any relevant documentation. Now that you're up on the essential forms, let's look at the next quiz question.